Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Right now on Little Land, it's half 12 on Thursday, November 26th, 2020. We're hosting a Turkey Day event from now until midnight to celebrate the fall harvest. We've invited a world class chef to cook for us in the plaza. I hope you can all join in the fun. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there! So, hi everyone! I'm so sorry it's been a while. But as you can tell, today is Thanksgiving, or Harvest Day as it was previously called, and in this game it's called Turkey Day, um, which is quite unimaginative, but who cares, it's Thanksgiving, yay! And the music is different again, um, it sounds just like the old one, but more sad. Oh no, why does it sound so sad, what the heck? I think it might be the use of trumpets. I'm not sure, but never mind. We've got to stay positive. So yeah, why don't we quickly check our mail? We have a letter from Barbara. Tell me, Fairy Lou, do you ever feel down in the dumps? I certainly do. When that happens, I like to rearrange my room. It's refreshing and empowering. And we have our letter from the Happy Home Academy. I always just throw these away. Let me know if you guys do the same. Um, but since it's Thanksgiving, we need to wear some different clothes. Okay, so I'm thinking we need to wear an apron of some sort. I know I have quite a few. But it would only be fitting that we wear an apron on a day we're going to be cooking because if you didn't know, if this is your first Animal Crossing game or this is your first time watching any of my videos on the Harvest Festival or Thanksgiving or Turkey Day, you usually cook something with Franklin. And in the previous games, you used to have to collect knives and forks from the villagers so that they wouldn't be able to eat Franklin which was super funny and Franklin's character he's a massive scaredy cat he's really scared of everything really anxious panicky um I really love his character I think he's so funny if you watched my city folk let's play we celebrated this in my city folk let's play as well and we had to find Franklin because he was hiding constantly from the villagers and from Mayor Tortima and Mayor Tortima would make like really funny jokes about eating him I know it's really weird um but I always really liked that I thought that was super funny and I can't wait to see how it's going to be done in this game. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like the New Leaf event where you collect ingredients and cook with Franklin, um, which I also really, really liked. So yeah, I'm just really excited to do that. I think it's going to be so fun. And I really like this outfit actually. I really like the pink theme. I want to use this pink mum apron because um, my friend gifted it to me and it's just so cute. I love the pink gingham pattern. I love the little fruits. And yeah, I think it really suits me, so I think I'm going to wear this. There we go. <laughs> okay, so my pockets are full with so much stuff. Um, I'm going to have to sell those at some point, especially if we're collecting ingredients. But let's head down my little incline I recently built. My island is a mess, by the way. Um, I haven't played in a while, so do you guys know I have a lot going on in my life right now. That's why I haven't uploaded either. Um, but I really, really wanted to keep recording the special events for you guys so i've tried my best to make time to do this today oh my goodness barbara's wearing a little hat and she has a little plate well hello i take it you're done giving me the silent treatment oh no she's mad at me the main attraction of turkey day is of course our hard-working turkey chef franklin hmm i hadn't considered it before but do you think the day could be named in his honor how old is he oh i actually have no idea fairy lou what's up i feel like i haven't had any facetime with you lately I didn't scare you or anything, right? I know it can be a bit much sometimes, Precious. Oh, look at Drift! Huh? It's Fairy Lou! How are you doing? We haven't caught up lately, Drivet. I saw you around the other day. You had quite a spring in your step. Have you been skipping leg day? <laughs> I'm going to have to do some restraint exercises so I don't eat too fast. It's going to be real intense. Keeping your willpower in good shape is just as important as your muscles, Drivet. And here's our new villager, Lopez. Oh, is that you, Lulu? Of course it is. I'd recognise you anywhere, Badoom. I bet you're wondering what the Lopez is doing here. I moved here. After we chatted at the campsite on this island, I couldn't stop thinking about Little Land. So I packed up my high-end compost bin collection and voila! Let's get together soon and I'll tell you all about my other interests. Ah, <sighs> you can tell it's Turkey Day by taking a deep breath. I can smell home cooking across the island. Oh, Little Fang is here. Cooking your own food on Turkey Day is great and all, but the real fun is taking little tastes along the way. It's just not possible to do anything on an empty stomach, even cook. Know what I mean, Chichon? I love cooking with my family and everything, and here's Franklin! Oh, he looks so cute! Oh, we also have Rudy over there as well. Some folks will spend Turkey Day at home cooking, and that's cool, but I want to see the pro chef's technique. 
What's his whisks per minute? What brand of protein powder does he use? How many pan lifts can he do? I gotta know these things, I just got a mush. Oh, he's so cute. And so here's Franklin, he's so pink in this game. I love his little chef outfit. Oh, we can't see him behind this mushroom, let me move behind here. <laughs> Look how cute he is at his little cooking table. Oh my goodness, and like, the little skin on his beak like, waggles in the breeze, can you see that? He's so cute, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I love celebrating these events with you guys. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Are you one of the locals here? I'm Franklin, professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come and cook for everyone. See, Turkey Day is about celebrating the harvest by preparing a feast of all those fresh ingredients. And no one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they called in a professional gobble gob. Well, I say that, but right now it's what those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local ingredients where possible. Just three manila clams would be all I'd need to adapt my award-winning clam chowder recipe. But I typically have people to do my clam digging. Where am I going to find a digger on short notice? Okay, so we need to find some clams. That's our first job today, I'm assuming. Leave it to me. And I need to sell some stuff in my pocket first, so that I actually have room for the clams. Okay, let's head off to the beach. Here we are. Oh, and there's one straight away for us. Yay! I got a manila clam. Manila is my favourite flavour of clam. I never actually dig these up. Um, what is it you actually need to dig them up for? I can't remember. Hopefully we can get a recipe, because I don't have hardly any yet. I didn't get hardly any of the Autumn's Bounty recipies. And I think... Oh, sailor's tea? I haven't got any mushroom recipes either. I'm really upset about that because I really wanted to cook all the mushroom recipes. And I really like those Autumn Bounty recipes, but I just haven't had time to play recently because of everything going on in my life. And I have even more going on that I haven't told you guys yet. If you guys want, I can do like a little chatty catch-up video and I'll just tell you everything that's going on. Maybe that would be nice, actually. Maybe I can film that later and get that out for you guys um just so we can have a little chat because it has been a while i think it's been quite a few weeks since i last uploaded i feel quite disconnected from you all so maybe i'll just have to you know just make a short video where i answer some of your questions or something like that because it really does feel like it's been a while and yeah as you guys know i just have a lot going on in my personal life right now and even more i haven't told you things have been quite difficult recently oh and here we go i got a manila clam yay so we just need one more now and as you can see, like I said, my island is just a mess. I haven't worked on it at all. I barely get a chance to play this game anymore. Oh, and here's our final one. Yay! Okay, so let's take this back to Franklin. You know, I don't think I played the Harvest Day event on New Leaf that much. I do remember it, and I really, really enjoyed it. I loved the little Let's Get Cooking animation he did. And I loved all the little ingredients there were, like you could collect sugar, flour, and all that sort of stuff. Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. I'd love to start on some clam chowder, and I would if only I had a digger to fetch me free fresh manila clams. i do it myself, but these are chef's hands. Without an assistant digger, I despair of getting my ingredients. You can have these. What? Did you bring me my ingredients? Yep, here you go. Oh, I can give him my mushrooms as well. Well, what do you know? Fresh manila clams from this very island. These are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Oh my goodness, look how delicious that looks! Oh my goodness, look at everyone! So cute! Thanks to me, and also you to some extent, we've got delicious clam chowder ready to serve. Folks tend to underrate soup, but they should think twice. Some nice fresh manila clams can really satisfy. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present you a turkey day rug. Yay! I'll say this, for an amateur, you've got real life for ingredients. Next on my menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch ingredients, but he didn't show, so how would you like to be my gopher? Sure! Gobble go! I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey day. Let's talk turkey about what we'll need to bake that pumpkin pie. I'll need an orange pumpkin plus a green pumpkin. Once it's all stirred in, it'll make for the best pumpkin pie this island has ever seen. If you don't have what we need, someone else might. There's no shame in asking around for help. It's how I recruited you, after all. 
Okay, that's good because I actually sold all my pumpkins, I think. After Halloween, I was like, well, I have no use for these. Are they all broken? They're still clapping. <laughs> oh, okay, they're stopping now. I was thinking the whole time I was talking to Franklin that, are they supposed to still be clapping in the background? You guys will have to let me know if they did the same thing for you while you were talking to him, because I thought that was really strange. After Halloween, I actually just sold all my pumpkins because they didn't really suit my island's aesthetic and I didn't need them and I wasn't going to craft anything pumpkin related so yeah I just sold all of them so I'm glad I can get them from someone else but why don't we go check in my storage just to make sure I don't have any yep I only have white ones unfortunately okay so we've got to go ask someone for help of course let's go see Ruby first and she's indoors so that's good oh my goodness she's dressed up in a chef outfit and she's cooking oh my gosh she's so cute oh my goodness Look at her! <laughs> so cute! Oh, I love that they're just cooking in their homes. So, since it's turkey day, I'm making something from scratch for all my adoring fans. That said, I could really use a sea bass right now. If a certain someone known as Fairy Lou might happen to come across that ingredient, a certain someone known as Ruby might be open to a trade! <laughs> okay, so we've got to go capture a sea bass. Awesome! Leave it to me! Alright, so a sea bass should be quite easy to catch. I love like all these little errands we're having to do, I think this is super fun. So far I'm really enjoying this event, I think this is really really fun, it's just like the old one. Yeah, it still has just as much charm as New Leaf so far. I love that the little animals are cooking in their home, I can't wait to see all the others cooking. Oh, and here's a fish right now. Awesome, we got a sea bass first time! I caught a sea bass, no wait, it's at least a C+. Okay, so let's head back to Ruby's and give her the ingredients she needs. Hi again Ruby! You know what would make this dish sing like, well, me? Some sea bass. Want to trade? Sure, here you go. Wow, you're a major lifesaver, Fairy Lou. I hope this green pumpkin helps you as much as you've helped me, Lil Wiz. Awesome, we needed one of those. Oh, and that's not all. I'm going to give you a hot cooking tip straight from Ruby. That's me. Okay, so everyone knows you use manila clams in clam chowder ops, but adding a scallop is where it's at. I heard that from a celebrity chef, so you know it's totes legit. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that's the secret ingredient, but we didn't use that when we cooked it, because I didn't know. Never mind. Okay, so we still need an orange pumpkin, so we'll have to go visit someone else. We have to check who's in. I'm pretty sure almost everyone was outside. Um, I don't remember seeing Mint, so why don't we head to Mint's house? Yeah, so it looks like Mint is in, so why don't we go check what she needs? Oh my goodness, her house is so cute, isn't it? And she's cooking as well. Aww. Oh, Fairy Lou, there you are. We haven't chatted in forever, darling. You always look so busy running around. I appreciate you stopping to say hello. I've decided to try cooking today for the first time in simply ages. Oh, don't give me that look. I've been known to cook without always burning down the island I live on. By the by, I know this is a long shot, but you don't happen to have any extra sea bass, do you? When I went shopping for ingredients, I was sure I had some sea bass, but alas, no. If you run across any, I'll gladly trade another ingredient for it. Thanks awfully. Ah. Okay, so another sea bass. Leave it to me. I wonder what it is they're cooking that needs sea bass. I'm actually really happy about this because, um, if you guys didn't know, I did a video years back about how cooking would be in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, we have a message in a bottle, so I don't read this. To a friend I've yet to meet, this new DIY recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now and really enjoying. I've entrusted my recipe to the sea and hope someone makes it. It's simple if you have the parts. A logchair, we already have this recipe! I've literally never got a new recipe from a bottle. I don't know why that's the case. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm really really happy with this event. I did a video ages back about cooking in Animal Crossing New Horizons and what it would be like. And I said it would be cool if we could like catch fish and collect mushrooms and things like that and actually use them to cook special little pies and soups and all that sort of thing. And a lot of people commented things like, this will never happen, why would you use fish to cook? Like, why wouldn't you? You literally catch fish in the game, that doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, I also had people commenting on it recently, even though I made that video before New Horizons came out. And I had people commenting on it recently saying like, This is a lie, you can't cook in New Horizons, this is like clickbait and everything. I was like, what? I filmed this video before New Horizons came out, and it was a discussion video about what could happen in the next game. Because I used some autumn art from New Leaf, where it has Franklin cooking and everything as the thumbnail, people were like, This art is from New Leaf, it's not from New Horizons, don't believe this video. <laughs> it just made me laugh because I was like, 
you're you're the one that's an idiot because I made this before New Horizons came out. I'm not even claiming for it to be in the game. Oh my goodness. Some people though, I get the same comments on my Pocket Camp videos a lot from people being like, "How did you upload this video when this event is already over?" <laughs> like it's called pre-recording my friend um when i upload a video i haven't literally just recorded it i do have to go in and edit it and add the ending screen and edit out all my coughs and loud noises in the background and edit out all the silent parts and boring bits and yeah <laughs> i didn't realize i would have to explain this to people but time does exist oh a mushroom okay so i'm still yet to find a sea bass Usually they're really easy to find, but I seem to be catching everything other than a sea bass right now. I really want to change up this area of my island. I think it's pretty boring. I don't really like that little little greenhouse thing. Um, yeah, I don't really like it. I think it looks good on photos maybe if you zoomed in and took a photo for Instagram. But actually on my island, I don't think it looks very nice. So I'm probably going to get rid of that. I've changed up my beach a little bit as well, but I still just like, I'm not really happy with my island at all. To me, it just feels like... I don't know, it just feels like a mismatch of different areas that I'm not happy with. Especially when I see other people's beautiful islands on Instagram and YouTube and everything. I shouldn't compare myself, obviously I think I said that in one of my island tour videos, that people shouldn't compare their islands to other people's and take their time with it. But when you're a content creator it's a bit hard because all the other content creators have such beautiful, beautiful islands. And then there's me. But yeah, it doesn't matter does it? As long as I'm enjoying the game, who cares? I never really played Animal Crossing for it to be a design simulator. It's one of the reasons New Horizons isn't my most favourite Animal Crossing game. It's because this game is basically just a building simulator compared to the old ones. I do really love this game, obviously, and it's beautiful. And I'm really enjoying this event. Yeah, compared to old games, it's really, really focused on building, designing. And that was never really what I played Animal Crossing for. I really enjoy that sort of thing in Pocket Camp because I go into Pocket Camp expecting that. But I didn't go into New Horizons expecting it to just be mainly focused on decorating and not about the villagers and friendships and all that sort of thing. So yeah, it's just not really something I'm that good at, I would say. I'm not that good at decorating. I have like a specific style I like. Like you guys know I like fairy stuff, angelic stuff. But I'm really, really bad at putting that feeling onto my decorations. Like I'm just so bad at doing that. I'm sure if any of you are artists out there you might feel the same way like when you have an idea of what you want your drawing to look like and then you draw it and it just doesn't come out the way you imagined. I always had that problem when I used to make art a lot as well. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a sea bass. It is. Okay awesome. So we can finally head back to Mint's house and give her this. Oh and we got some nook miles. For catching fish you got 150 and I only have 5,000 nook miles now because I spent so many of them on trying to find a smug villager. I really was looking for Colton, but I couldn't find one in the end. And then Beardo moved in. I was not impressed. So I used my Lopez amiibo card because Lopez is one of my favorite smug villagers, even though I already have a deer villager. But yeah, I used his amiibo card to get him to move in. Also, I'm really sorry if you guys can hear banging in the background now and then. I actually live near an army camp um, and there's a lot of like explosions and stuff and for some reason they're doing a lot right now. So if you do hear bangs in the background, that's probably just them. Don't worry, it's not dangerous, I don't think. Um, I've lived here for years and everything's fine. I keep rechecking the recipe, but no, sea bass is still written right there under ingredients. Fairy Lou, if you have a bit of sea bass, could I have it? I can trade another ingredient. Sure, here you go. Oh, Splendiferous, you are the hero who saved Turkey Day, Fairy Lou. I hope you make good use of this green pumpkin. I'm told it's the finest spells can buy. Oh no, I needed an orange pumpkin. What a relief that I'll be able to finish my dish thanks to you. To thank you properly, let me tell you a secret of cooking I ran across in my favourite cookbook. Apparently, the best way to spruce up a fish menu is to include barred knife jaw in the mix. As everyone knows, the barred knife jaw is a good silver fish, so it only makes sense. Ah. Okay, I need to Google how to pronounce that word. And we still need to find an orange pumpkin. Well, hello and welcome, Fairy Lou. I must have gotten caught up in the turkey day spirit because here I am cooking of all things. By the by, I know this is a long shot, but you don't happen to have any extra horse mackerel, do you? When I went shopping for ingredients, I was sure I had some horse mackerel, but alas, no. If you run across any, I'll gladly trade another ingredient for it. Thanks awfully, darling. Okay, horse mackerel. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay, I discovered it. I think you pronounce it manye. So at least I'll be able to pronounce that for the rest of the video now. This could be a horse mackerel. Well, I'm pretty sure they're a bit bigger than this. Oh no, it is a horse mackerel. I caught a horse mackerel. Of course, mackerel. Okay, let's head back and give this to Barbara. Hi, Grandma Bobs. Here you go. 
Oh, fiddlesticks. I can't finish this dish without horse mackerel and I'm fresh out. If only I knew what to substitute for it. Borscht? Is that how you say that? Gingerbread? Here you go. Oh, I can also give our other ingredients. That's weird. Oh, splendid for us. You're the hero who saved Turkey Day, Fairy Lou. I hope you make good use of this orange pumpkin. I'm told it's the finest girls can buy. Yay, thank you, Barbara. You can always rely on Grandma Barbs to save the day. What a relief that I'll be able to finish my dish thanks to you. Okay, she's telling us the same thing as mint, so never mind. But thank you, Barbara. I wonder what the secret ingredient is for this dish. Well, so far we've only needed green and orange pumpkins, so maybe it will be white pumpkins? Because I do actually have some white pumpkins, so I might just go get some and give them to Franklin and see if they work as a secret ingredient or not. Our next dish will be a pumpkin pie absolutely stuffed with pumpkin. The main ingredients are simple, an orange pumpkin and a green pumpkin. I'll get started prepping it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. I have them. So soon? That's great, Gobble Gob. Let's see what you found. Okay, green, orange, and I want to give you a white pumpkin as well. Nice! Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Oh my goodness, doesn't that look so delicious? Oh my goodness! Yay! Mmm, mmm, mmm! That creamy roasted pumpkin pureed with spices makes for a quintessential pumpkin pie. Few chefs could have brought out the flavour quite so well, but the raw ingredients were all you. This is for your help with another great dish, compliments of the chef, a turkey day wool. Now then, for our next dish we'll be making a hearty seafood gratin. The key ingredients here are an oyster, as well as a mussel. Come back once you found them. Oh, okay. They're found on the beach, aren't they? Aren't they just shells? Oh wait, no. You have to dive for those, right? Yeah. A mussel and an oyster. Yeah, we have to dive for those. So I'll just head back to my house and grab my diving suit. And then I'll be back. Okay, so let's put our diving suit on and our snorkel mask. There we go. All ready for diving. I don't dive very often in this game. So this is actually quite fun. I love how different parts of the recipes are encouraging us to do different activities like catch fish and dive and go talk to the villagers. Okay, let's see what we get. And we got a mussel. It's been working out. Awesome, so now we just need an oyster. And we got it. And it's an oyster. It's a little shellfish. Awesome, so we're done already. And here's another. Oh, this one's quite fast. It's a scallop. I got a scallop, it ought to be savoured. And it's little Pascal. Hey man, about that scallop of yours, can I have it? Sure. Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. Lightning is a game of tag you can play with physics, but physics plays rough. Okay. <laughs> Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. <laughs> oh, I love Pascal. He's so sweet. I don't understand what he just said to us, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh, yay! I got a Dungeness crab. Dun dun dun, Jeunesse. <laughs> I actually live near Dungeness. That is so cool. I've never caught that before, but it said online that I'll need this for a recipe, so I'm not sure what to do. Should I give it to Blathers or Franklin? Is cooking more important than the museum? I'm really not sure, but on Thanksgiving, I think the answer is obviously yes. Um, so we're definitely going to have to give this to Franklin. Hopefully those aren't too difficult to find. Okay, so let's head back to Franklin now and give him all these ingredients. <laughs> Everyone's so cute hanging out in the resident services area. They're all in the way though. Hi Franklin! Our next dish will be a gratin. We'll be working for my own recipe centred on the bounty of the sea. The main ingredients are simple, an oyster and a mussel. I'll get started prepping it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. So soon? That's great, Gobble Gob. Let's see what you found. Okay, here you go. So I have an oyster and a mussel. Oh, it won't let me give the special ingredients? That's weird. Nice! Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious. 
I'm getting so hungry from this and everyone's so cute all excited for it. Masterful, my gratin is filled with the freshest of fresh seafood. It'll be the talk of the town. You know, you're proving yourself quite the catch when it comes to assistance too. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, some turkey day flooring. Awesome! Let's see. Yes, it's time to tackle the final dish, only the best for our main course. The final dish I've planned is none other than a grand fish minier. Okay, so that's the one we need the little stripy fish for. I understand it's turkey day, but you wouldn't believe the way they choose to celebrate it in some places. But the less said there, the better. We'll need sea bass and a red snapper, I think. I'll prove that a menier featuring both of them is inarguably the proper dish for the occasion. This is the final course. Stick with me and we'll feast like kings. Okay, awesome. So the final dish. I'm not sure what I meant to do because I've been collecting all these special ingredients. Searched up what ingredients I need and apparently I needed the Dungeness crab but he didn't ask for it and he wouldn't let me give it to him for the dish so that's really weird to me. But I think he said we need a red snapper and a sea bass I think it was maybe. Um, we also need the barbed knife jaw which is the stripy fish that Mint and Barbara told us would be good for the fish minier. Um, so we've got to find that as well. So while I'm looking for the fish, let's just chat for a minute. So I'm not actually celebrating Turkey Day, well, Thanksgiving myself this year. I know I said in a previous video that I celebrated it last year. Even though I'm British, we don't typically celebrate Thanksgiving. But last year I decided to just make some nice food and celebrate with my boyfriend. And it was really, really nice. But this year we're not celebrating because we just haven't had time to go out and get any nice food. Yeah, we're just going to be eating like normal. Though yesterday we did have a really nice dinner. Are you kidding me? I got a tire? I sure am tired of that. Oh my goodness, we're really not having much luck, are we? But yeah, we're not celebrating Thanksgiving this year, unfortunately. Though yesterday we did have a nice dinner. We had steak and jacket potatoes and fresh vegetables. It wasn't really a Thanksgiving dinner, but it was nice at least. I love making dinner with fresh ingredients. It makes me feel so happy. It makes me feel so healthy afterwards. I really, really love cooking with my boyfriend and making delicious food together. Oh my goodness, more rubbish. I caught a boot. It uh, wasn't made for swimming. I could probably wear these if I found another boot, right? I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Okay, so we've just learned how to make wellies. My friend has had that recipe since like the first day in the game. And I still hadn't had it, so I'm glad we finally unlocked that. But yeah, I really hope you're all having a nice Thanksgiving, even though I'm not celebrating this year. And we don't usually celebrate anyway, but I really hope you're enjoying it. I know it's an American holiday, but even if you're not American, you can celebrate Turkey Day in Animal Crossing and just eat some nice food of your family and think of what you're grateful for. I think that's a really nice thing to do anyway, even if it's not Thanksgiving. Um, you're also probably seeing this video really late because Nintendo have actually changed the game in an update recently so that you can't time travel to special events anymore. It's a really weird thing to do because they didn't do this with the old events, but they made it so I couldn't pre-record this Thanksgiving event for you all. Usually I would time travel a couple of days before the event to the event so that I can record it and then get it edited and uploaded on Thanksgiving Day or on Christmas Day or on Easter Day or whatever so that you guys can all enjoy it. On that day, in case you spend that day alone, I really like my videos to be out on the day of the special occasion for anyone that is a fan of my videos and, you know, spends those days alone and wants some company. I know I've spent like a Christmas Eve on my own before and I watched Amisha Crossing stream and it was really, really nice. She kept me company. The community kept me company and yeah, I know a lot of people do spend some holidays on their own and they just really appreciate little videos like this so I'm really really upset to be honest that they changed this in an update so I wasn't able to time travel to this event. I actually have to play this on Thanksgiving which is nice for some people I guess because I think they're doing it so people don't spoil the event and the furniture and everything but the thing is people are going to do that anyway because people hack the game, people data mine the game so it really is useless because I saw spoilers for everything in this anyway despite them changing this so it really hasn't done anything except make life harder for content creators and make it so some people aren't able to play this event because I'm sure people that have work a lot or look after their kids, things like that, they don't want to spend their time with loved ones just ignoring each other and playing a game. I know for me that's how I feel about the upcoming Toy Day event. I'm going to have to ignore my family on Christmas Eve just to play Toy Day and ignore them. Yeah, that just makes me really sad. I don't know why they've made things harder for their players. I know it's not that much of a big deal, but 
It's also just like, why did they do that? It's just a weird decision to make. So yeah, you're definitely seeing this video way after Thanksgiving. And that's just because Nintendo have changed things in the update and I'm not sure why. I'm actually just super upset about it, especially with Christmas. But I've got to stay positive, haven't I? My goodness, it's taking me ages to find these fish. Another ray? Oh no. But yeah, I, I do find it really strange the updates Nintendo do to this game. I'm not sure whether they actually want us to enjoy the game sometimes, you know? Because... Like, they, at the start of the game, if you guys didn't know, we had these special islands. You know how you can go on the Nook Mile Islands? They actually had a purpose other than finding villagers when the game first released, because there were special islands that had rare flowers. And, oh my goodness, that was how I got most of my pink flowers, and how most people have the rare flowers in the game, because you could find these really rare islands that are just filled with, like, blue roses, and pink hyacinths, and pink roses and not only was it super fun to you know try find these islands and take all the flowers home it was just like it gave you a reason to actually use your nook miles to go to the islands once you have all the villagers you like and the islands were designed super beautifully as well they were all so gorgeous i actually had plans to do videos where i'm searching for magic flower islands because i just think they're gorgeous and we finally caught the barred knife jaw awesome so we still need the red snapper but yeah like i was saying I had plans to just, you know how a lot of people make those videos where they go island hopping to try find villagers? Well, I really wanted to do videos like that at the start of the game where we just tried to find the magic flower island. They were so, so beautiful and I just thought it was a reward in itself to just find the island and see how gorgeous it was. Um, but they just removed that for some reason in an update and they removed all the rare flower islands and it was just a really strange decision. And I think they're reasoning for it was that it made the game too easy or something which i don't really understand like the players love those rare flower islands so why would you remove them and who cares if it's easy like isn't the game supposed to be enjoyed and then they did something after that where they lowered the amount of money you get as interest in your bank account because people were making a lot of money from it and it's like but don't you want people to be happy making money in the game and enjoying the game you've made things harder for us and not in an enjoyable way you've just made it more difficult and to make up for it they sent us like a bell bag rug but it was sort of just like why did you why are you removing features from the game and updates to make life more difficult for us like making it less enjoyable in a way and they've done the same thing here with these events like you can't just let us time travel to bunny day and events like that and time travel as much as we want to spend events and then suddenly remove it for this event and Christmas event as well it's just I think it's just really cruel for a lot of players who rely on time travel to actually be able to play the game the way they want if they have a lot of work to do like you know they have a family to take care of they have a hard-working job and things like that not everyone has time to play on the day they'd like to play beforehand and I just think it it was just a strange decision on their part I'd love to know what you guys think about it though because I'm sure for a lot of people it's beneficial they don't like seeing spoilers for the game but like I I said I got spoiled for literally everything anyway and um, data miners are still going to data mines and find out what's coming up next and show us all the new items and how the event's going to go and everything so no matter what it isn't helping anyone so I really hope they reconsider what they've done oh my goodness have I caught this fish before a sturgeon I think I have but that should be worth quite a bit of bells it really does affect me personally as a player because, like I said, I, I love to make content for my viewers and I love to have it up on the day for you all, but now I won't be able to. So I guess the worst news about all this that really, really upsets me is that there won't be a... And that just really, really sucks because... Christmas is a really special holiday that I know quite a lot of people get really sad spending it on their own and especially with this year going the way it has I'm sure a lot of people will be spending it on their own because of the virus and um, they won't be allowed to go visit their family and things like that so having my content go up on the day for them to just you know relax with for an hour or so feel like they're with a friend that's something that's really really important to me as someone who spent a lot of time on my own I've always wanted my videos to be something that people can have there to feel like they have a friend on that day and now I won't be able to celebrate Toy Day with you all on the day like I usually would and that just breaks my heart to be honest. Yeah, so I really really hope Nintendo will reconsider this. Okay, so let's see if Ruby needs anything because I really can't find this red snapper anywhere. I've already made a few things that turned out just okay, but do I seem like I'd be good with just okay? Of course not! I'm going to keep right on cooking until I whip up something vlog worthy. <laughs> That said, I could really use a dab right now. If a certain someone known as Fairy Lou might happen to come across that ingredient, a certain someone known as Ruby might be open for a trade. I literally just sold my dab. No! Okay, maybe someone else needs an ingredient I actually have. 
my goodness, I just literally just sold my dab. I'm so upset about that. But yeah, I don't mean to be too much of a downer. I know there's a lot of things I complain about in these videos with the game, but as you guys know, it, it's just not the way that... They just do a lot of things that I'm like, why are they doing that? And I know a lot of content creators do agree with me that the time travel change thing was just really, really strange. It just doesn't really make sense why they would just change things for one event but not the others. And like, in previous games, to punish you for time travelling, you would have Rossetti come and have a go at you and it would take ages. Um, so if you didn't want to deal with that, obviously that would deter you from time travelling. And in the older games, your face would turn into a gyroid's face and there was like super funny and charismatic and really really funny ways they would punish you for doing it oh my goodness another yeah. boo but yeah in previous games they just had really funny just sweet ways that they would punish you for time traveling it gave the game so much personality but now it's just like they just won't allow us to do it and it's just really weird to do it like that i think when time traveling has been such an important big part of animal crossing since the very first game and of course the game's always encouraging you not to time travel and to take things slowly but the option was always there for people who can't play that day and, you know, missed out on an event and don't want to be left out. Oh yay, we got one! Okay, let's take this back to Ruby. But especially in my case, I just have a lot going on in my life right now. I'm taking care of my sick cat. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff going on. I just haven't had time to play the game as much as I'd like. And luckily today, I was free so I could record the Thanksgiving event. But if I wasn't, imagine that. It would just be so sad not being able to upload a Thanksgiving video for you all. Okay, here we are. Hopefully she'll give us a red snapper. You know, this dish needs a little something. And I think it might be a little dab. <laughs> Here you go. Wow, you're a major lifesaver, Fairy Lou. I hope this manila clam helps you as much as you've helped me. Manila clam? Why would I need a manila clam? Oh, and that's not all. I'm going to give you a hot cooking tip straight from Ruby. So pumpkin pies, they're legit yummy, but you can go absolutely couture with different colours. If you use different colours of pumpkins, the pies you make will look and taste more colourful. Oh, awesome. I didn't try to give him a white pumpkin, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. I guess we have to keep on looking for a red snapper. Oh, this is taking a while. Okay, so we have to go find someone else that we can maybe get a red snapper from. This is taking so long. I actually sold my red snapper earlier and I wish I didn't. I didn't realise I would need one for this recipe. So we have no red today. I'm pretty sure red won't turn up on special events, um, but I have no idea. Like I said, I don't get to play this game as much as I'd like. But we should talk about something more positive now. So it's almost Christmas time and it's Thanksgiving today, which is lovely. You're supposed to be thinking about all the things you're grateful for. So actually, I'd really love if you guys would let me know in the comments something you're grateful for. I think that would make the comments section so positive and happy and it would just be so wonderful. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments something you're grateful for. Something I'm grateful for is that my cat Archie is still around right now. If you didn't know, my cat Archie got diagnosed with heart failure, which means he doesn't have long left. I saw a lot of people in my community tab saying, I hope he gets better soon, but please understand, he won't get better soon. You can't get better from heart failure, unfortunately, so it's just, you know, waiting time to see how long he's going to be around for. Luckily, his meds seem to be working um, really, really well. He's a lot more sleepier and... You know, he does breathe a bit funny sometimes. We have to give him medicine twice a day and in the evening it's like quite a lot of medicine but he's been taking it so well. I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that he's here with me right now. He's just asleep on the windowsill next to me and he's been sleeping there all the time watching the birds out the window and he just makes me so happy. If you didn't know, he's my best friend in the entire world. I love him so much and I'm just so grateful that he's here right now. I really hope that he'll still be around at Christmas time. I'm not going to expect that because I, you know, with heart failure, you never know when it's going to, you know, go bad. But for the moment, he's doing so well. And I'm so, so grateful for that. I'm also so, so thankful for you guys because... A lot of you guys donated money to me to help me pay for Archie's vet bills. We're still actually paying it off because it was so much money um, that we had to pay for all of this. You guys donating money really, really gave us some ease and really, really has helped us out. So thank you so much to everyone who's donated anything to me because all the money I get right now is going towards paying off Archie's vet bills. And yeah, I'm really, really, really grateful for all of you. Um, it's just so crazy to me if I didn't start a YouTube channel, I wouldn't have had all this support and help and you guys are just the most lovely community ever and you're all so so kind I can't thank you enough and I'm just so grateful for all of you and all of your support so thank you so much another sea bass are you kidding me 
<laughs> Why am I struggling so much to find a red snapper? So yeah, please do let me know in the comments something you're thankful for, how you're spending your Thanksgiving, um, something you're looking forward to. Let's make the comment section super positive because I've been missing a lot of positivity in my life recently and I'm really, really trying my best to stay a positive person. I know in my videos I do complain quite a bit but I think that's just my British personality we like to complain it's just the way we are and especially when there's just a lot going on in your life it's pretty easy to just complain about things and I think that's okay I like to hear other people complain about things especially if I agree with them and I know especially on Twitter if you complain about Animal Crossing people just like go at you I want my place on the internet to be a really safe place for anyone to just express their opinions on the game you won't be judged here if you dislike something about the game and you won't be attacked for it because I won't allow that in my comment section yeah this is a safe place for anyone to express their opinions about the games whether they like certain things they dislike certain things that's all valid and one thing that I really dislike about the Animal Crossing community recently is that on Twitter if you say that oh I you know I dislike the music in New Horizons like me people just like go at you and it doesn't make any sense people can dislike a part of a game that you like that doesn't mean that you need to have a go at them it just doesn't make any sense to me so yeah please just know you'll never be had a go at or you know anything like that here in my youtube channel for disliking anything about the game if you have a different opinion to me like you really love a certain aspect of the game i dislike that's completely fine i'm not going to try and convince you otherwise i'm not going to try have a go at you like everyone's opinion on the game is valid and i really wish that people would be like that more on twitter especially because things get very negative on there okay let's see if barbara needs anything what news from the outside world i imagine everyone's starting to gather at the plaza i'll be there but i can't abandon my dish until it's worthy to be served by Barbara. Hold on one moment, is that a dab you have there? What miraculous timing. I was in quite the bind for one of just a soup con of dab. <laughs> I beg you darling, have mercy on a poor sheep and trade with me for a different ingredient. Okay, here you go. Oh Splendiferous, you are the hero who saved Turkey Day Fairy Lou. I hope you make good use of this muscle. No, I need a red snapper. I've been fishing for like half an hour. A bit of crab in a gratin can lead the discerning gourmet to hit the What? I have no idea what she just said. The book suggested a type as well. Hmm, prison crab? Jail crab? Obliette crab? Darling crab? Okay, Mint, do you need anything? Ugh, this is intolerable. I'm afraid I'm more out of practice than cooking than I realised. And it's not going well and I hate it. Hold on one moment. Is that horse mackerel you have there? Okay, here you go. Please give me a red snapper. I hope you make good use of this red snapper. Yay! Thank you, Min. Min came through for us on Halloween with the lollipops, and on Thanksgiving she's coming through for us with the red snapper, so thank you, Min. She's so sweet. What a relief that I'll be able to finish my dish thanks to you. Okay, so we can finally head back to Franklin. Yay! <laughs> okay, sea bass, barred knife jaw, and red snapper. Awesome, so let's head back to Franklin. Ooh, your Dungeness crab is a very interesting ingredient. Hang on, your Dungeness crab could be just what I need to spice up my gratin recipe. Every professional chef worth their salt knows when greatness is at hand. I can taste it in the air. I'm sorry, but I need you to give me your Dungeness crab. Trust me, it's all for the greater food. You're holding the key to a positively delectable gratin. Help me unlock its flavour potential. Okay, you won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing gratin you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Oh, and now it's all sparkly! How cute is that? <laughs> Everyone's so cute, oh my goodness! I'm gobsmacked! Those thick crab legs really lent some depth to my standard gratin recipe. How do you guys say it? Gratin? Gratin? I don't actually know how you're supposed to say it. Looking at the finished gratin gives me goosebumps and I'm not even a goose. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, some turkey day wheat decor. Ooh, that sounds so nice. I hope you'll keep helping me out with ingredients for the next course. You find the ingredients and I'll cook them. That's the vision of labour for you. We do have all the ingredients for the final thing, but we also have all these special ingredients that we need to give him for the other dishes. So we needed a scallop I think it was, so why don't we go try find one again. I don't want to give him all the ingredients for the final dish and it like lock the event so I can't go back and give the special ingredients for the other dishes because I'm not actually sure how it works in this game. So just to be sure I'm going to try find the special ingredients now. Oh what is that? I got a Gazami crab, what a gripping find. Oh that's so cool, I've never caught that before. Oh it's another new one, a turban shell, it's totally turbular. That's so cool, we're catching so many new things. Oh my goodness, we've got an octopus. It can give four hugs at once. That's so cute. Okay, so we have two spaces left. We're looking for a scallop. 
because I gave my one to Pascal because I'm a nice friend. Oh, here we go. I got a scallop. It ought to be savoured. Yay! Okay, so let's take this back to Franklin. Oh, your scallop is a very interesting ingredient. Hang on. Your scallop could be just what I need to spice up my clam chowder recipe. You're holding the key to a positively delectable clam chowder. Help me unlock its flavour potential. I'm going to cook the most amazing clam chowder you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! Oh, and now it's all sparkly! Doesn't it look so delicious? Oh my goodness! Yay! <laughs> Gobble gob, your ingredients have pushed my clam chowder recipe to previously undreamt of heights. The addition of a hearty scallop to the manila clams is no longer merely soup, it's super duper. This is for your help with another great dish. Compliments of the chef, a turkey day chair. Thank you. We need other pumpkins for the pumpkin recipe, I think. Let's put the fish here we need for the final recipe. And then we'll have more room to try find the special ingredients for the other dishes. Let's go check in with Drift. <laughs> so cute. Since it's turkey day, I thought I'd try cooking up some top tier pro athlete chow dribbit. I did lots of research and came up with a meal that could turn anyone into a powerlifting champion. The thing is, if I really want to amp the dish up, it's going to need a few dashes of dab. I wish I'd known that last week. What would you say to an ingredient exchange? Want to sprint out and get me a dab? Okay. So it seems like the villagers will only ask you to find them fish. It would have been cute if they asked you for a clam or something like that. I mean, they might do, but they've only asked me for fish so far. Let's check in with Ruby again. So I know that everyone on the island is waiting to see what I'm going to make. My totes can't wait to share it, but there are no shortcuts in cooking, Lil Wiz. That said, I could really use a black bass right now. I'm sorry if you can hear noise in the background. My cat is scratching my bookshelf. <laughs> Okay, so it seems like they just want me to go fishing. I'm actually so tired of fishing now. I've been playing for so long, but I suppose I just have to keep fishing. Let's go check in with Min anyways. Is that a turban shell you have there? What miraculous timing. I don't have this in my museum yet though. Okay, I suppose I'll give it to her. I can just find another one eventually. A skinny mushroom. No, that's not what I needed. Okay, well let's check in with Barbara. So Barbara wants a horse mackerel. I really need a yellow pumpkin for the pumpkin recipe and I really really regret selling my pumpkins. Oh my goodness guys, I've been fishing for so long. I think I'm gonna give up on trying to find a yellow pumpkin for the pumpkin recipe. I'm just so tired from fishing. I hope you guys can understand. I have other things to do today and I just can't play for much longer. So yeah, I think I'm actually gonna give up on getting the perfect pumpkin recipe, but we can still get the perfect final recipe. So that's good. I'm just gonna sell all these things that I don't need. And yeah, I'm just really tired. I hope you guys understand. <laughs> Why don't we get our sea bass and our red snapper and barred knife jaw. And we can go give these to Franklin and cook the final recipe. Hi Franklin! Last up is a dazzling presentation of fresh fish, the one the only fish menier. The main ingredients are simple, a sea bass and a red snapper. I'll get started prepping it here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. So soon? That's great, Gobble Gob. Let's see what you found. Oh, it won't let me give it to him. That's so weird. Nice. Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. Now then, I've got everything I need, so let's get cooking. Oh my goodness, that looks so delicious, doesn't it? Everything looks so yummy. Oh, this is so cozy and lovely. We've done it. We fused two splendid fish to create a menier worthy of a main course. I couldn't have worked my magic without the ingredients you found. We make a complimentary pairing. Gobble gob, we got through the entire four course menu I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. In honour of that, as well as nature's bounty all around us, I hope you'll accept this cornucopia. Ah, few things are as rewarding as a job well done, don't you think? But the job is done now, so you have my blessing to go and enjoy this turkey day to the fullest. So we didn't follow my tried and true recipes to the letter. Your choice of ingredients was too ingenious not to. 
It's got me thinking. I suspect all of today's dishes could be enhanced with unconventional ingredients. It's your call, but if you'd like to go above and beyond, bring me any ingredients you might think would work. If they improve my recipes, well, I won't credit you, but I will offer you a small reward. Okay, so... Oh, your barred knife drawer is a very interesting ingredient. You're holding the key to a positively delectable fish menier. You won't regret this. I'm going to cook the most amazing fish menier you've ever had. Just you wait. Now then, you've given me everything I need, so... Let's get cooking! And now it's all sparkly and lovely! All the meals are so sparkly except the pumpkin one. It's so lovely though. My original request would have made a fine menu, but your barred knife jewel was an inspired choice. Our main dish is now even more luxurious, there'll be lines around the block for this one. This is for your help with another great dish, compliments of the chef, a turkey day table. Something tells me we could try even harder to find unique ingredients to give my recipes a special kit. If you find anything delicious that fits the bill, bring it to me. Well, I suppose I could try fishing a bit more. Awesome, we caught a horse macro, I can go give this to Barbara. Okay, let's go. Hopefully Barbara can give us the pumpkin we need. Oh, she's not in? Oh, well, we'll have to go find her by the resident services then. This event is so much fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Oh, here she is. I shall treasure the memories of this day and it's wonderful food for a long time to come, darling. Oh, so I can't give her... Oh my goodness, so I spent all that time finding a horse macro and I can't even give it to her. <laughs> like I said earlier guys, I'm really tired of fishing. But other than that, I actually really, really enjoyed this event. I genuinely think this is the best event New Horizons has had so far. So if you didn't take part in this one, I really hope that you get to at some point. I honestly believe this event had the most thought put into it it was so cozy it was so lovely heartwarming it was just wonderful i really 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 enjoyed this event so if i could give any critique it would mainly just be that franklin has lost a little bit of his personality he used to be a much more panicky stressed out sort of character and you know since he isn't really afraid in this game he lost that massive part of his personality that we don't get to see anymore I think it would be nice if when you talk to him sometimes he would tell you like horror stories of his past experiences. But other than that, I think this event was absolutely amazing. Of course the music was changed to be more sad, but that's just the case with the whole of New Horizons. So I'm not too focused on that at this point because I'm just used to the music not being as good in my opinion. Other than those two things, which one it doesn't really matter that much, this event was wonderful. I thought it was just amazing. It gave you so many things to do, so many little interactions to have with your villagers, um, little quests to go on. It was actually really difficult at some points. Like, as you guys saw, I don't have all the ingredients to actually make a perfect recipe for everything. Yeah, it was actually really hard, but in a nice, fun way. I found it really challenging, really, really sweet, and really, really cute. I think it was just a lovely way to spend Thanksgiving. It just made me so happy for autumn and the season. It's made me even more excited for Toy Day as well. I think Franklin's character model looked beautiful, and all the little food items look beautiful as well. So these are the furniture items we got from this event. We got this beautiful beautiful rug. I can't believe how gorgeous these items were. If you didn't know in the old game we had this like purpley pink style furniture and I honestly really preferred this. Look at this rug, it's gorgeous, it has little leaves all over it. Super cozy. I'm gonna try to think of a way to decorate my room with this rug because it's gorgeous. Um, we also have this beautiful harvest table over here with this beautiful little like table setting on it. It's so so gorgeous and warm, cozy looking. I love the little leaf designs on it and the little like feathery designs. That's so sweet. Um, we also have this little wheat thing over here with a ribbon around it. How cute is that? It looks so nice outside on the island. Um, and this little cozy little wooden chair as well. As you can see the wallpaper is like really cream, natural, beautiful. You could use this any time of year in your home. It would be absolutely gorgeous. Same with the flooring. The hardwood floors are just absolutely stunning. I love them. And of course I love this little cornucopia thing of all the pumpkins and grapes. I absolutely love all this furniture so far and I think the rest of the furniture is going to be available in Nook's Cranny after today. So that's really 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 exciting and I love all the furniture we've unlocked today I think it's stunning I also really love the old harvest festival furniture but it was like made of turkeys and it kind of grossed me out so I really prefer this one so yeah in case you didn't know maybe I can try find a photo or something but the old harvest day furniture was actually made out of turkey like I remember there was a wardrobe and the leg of the wardrobe was like a turkey's leg really weird but 
I actually used to really like using those furniture items in the old games. The pink was like a pastel pink. And we only really had lovely set for pink furniture, which was very hot pink. So yeah, I thought it made a nice change from that. But this furniture set, I think fits Thanksgiving so much better. Just beautiful. I think you could use it in a cottage core home, a fairy core home. And just like a natural cozy farmhouse, you know, it would be so, so beautiful. So I really can't wait to do some decorating with these furniture items. And I can't wait to collect even more of these cooking items. Because I know there's a lot of like stove pots and little food items available now which I'm so happy about because that's something we were missing. I'm really really happy they listened to us and added more food items especially for this event. But yeah I think that's actually going to be it for today guys. I really enjoyed this event. I'd love to know what you thought of it. I'd really love to hear something you're thankful for. Please do let me know because it would honestly really cheer me up. Like I've said previously I have a lot going on in my life right now so I'm not sure when I'll be around next. I'm going to keep trying to upload videos but please just be patient with me and please just know they might not be as common as they used to be because I just have a lot going on but I will try to make some more videos and chat to you all soon. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving or Harvest Festival or Turkey Day. Whatever day it is for you right now, I really hope that you had a wonderful lovely day. I really do appreciate your support. It really does just mean the world to me so thank you so much. I'm thankful for all of you. If you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and subscribe only if you want to though and thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all in my next video. Bye!